Okay, so we're getting somewhere here. There's a big empty space though. What can we fill that with? Um I'm not sure. Is there another note that I should play in there or um, picking string a different way? I'm not sure. Just gotta add a little bit more stuff. Like I got an idea, but you can you can you know, whatever you want to put in there, right? So after that note, what else can we do? I mean, I kind of have to go back to where I started, don't Why? I? Because I can't go backwards. I have to keep going forwards, right? You can do anything you want to. There's no restrictions right now. Excellent. That was exactly what I was thinking you should do. Twice, maybe. Try that twice. Or not quite. Excellent. See how that works? Quick, 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 because the rhythm has to start over. So the first two notes that you're playing there, um, <coughs> instead of doing a double stop, try to separate them. Like, yeah, yeah, with a ring, with a ring, with a ring. With what? With a ring, like a left with a ring. ring. Oh. So right now you're playing them separately. So let ring means you're gonna play them like that. Let them ring. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, just keep going from there. Everything else is perfect. Perfect. So that sounds really cool, right? Yeah, that's alright. Yeah, and it's funny how you played. You literally played exactly what I thought would be like. Like I thought in my head, I was like, oh, well, playing that would sound nice. And uh, and you played it. And it's like, whoa. Usually that doesn't happen. So I got a tune here real quick. So why did you choose those notes there? The ones that I was thinking of? Why did you choose those notes? Uh, well, I mean, I, I mean, if they're in the triad, they're going to sound good together. So that's why I just kind of stuck with them. Okay. Did you yeah. hear it in your head before you tried to play it? Um, not really. Hmm. I kind of just played it first and then it made sense. And so then I kept doing it. Gotcha. So I, I basically, it was the opposite for me. I heard it in my head and then you played it. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's really good. So, uh. You know, that's basically riff making, and um, now I don't think you used a plus one in there, though. I think that was just triad notes, right? Uh, no, because I think I used the eight, right? But I guess that doesn't really count as the plus one. Right. But regardless, you did play a nice little riff there. Well, we'll keep coming back to this. This is obviously, like, one of the most important exercises that we could possibly do, so we'll keep coming back to it pretty, pretty often. So uh, let's go ahead and head over to the next piece, which is going to be our Cotopaxi song. Do you already have this in your uh, thing over here? Yeah, yeah, I do have this one. Okay, great. It's going to be here. Blue. 
So we will go ahead and check that out. Did you already try figuring out Cotopaxi? Uh, yes, I did actually. Nice. All right, man. Were you able to get it? Uh, I was able to get the the first couple of bars there. Um, so the first, yeah, I would say the first half of it. All right. You want to go ahead and try playing it without the music and stuff, just to kind of see what you got. Yeah, sure. I didn't warm to, up with it. Do you need to remember so. how it sounds? Uh, no, yeah, I probably need to listen to the recording quick just so I can remember. Yeah. Or if you want to play it, that'd probably work too. Yeah. Um, so. Perfect. I got that far. So the first yeah. half of the next bar I got, but right, we got to count those um count those alternate picks, right? Yeah. You got five in there, so four. Oh, gotcha. Keep going. See, it's just a pentatonic scale. So it's funny, you got you got the right rhythm uh, on the wrong line. See, that part oh, okay. is supposed to be on the second string. Oh, that's right. Right, but keep going, keep going. You got it, there you go. Nice, on the low string, it's going to be... One, two, three. Nice. Next string. Right. Close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you almost got this. So let's try to play this along. Well, just try to just try to do it a couple more times. That second line. Okay, I want to make sure you. Yeah, that second part. half is where I'm gonna get caught up. So. A few times here. I still had too many. It's perfect. Is that good? Yeah. Sound like this. Okay, 
Okay, so you really gotta listen to these because. Yeah. Are you counting these, or how are you? How are you? How are you getting that rhythm? I'm not sure. I think the rhythm from the first half is just like sticking with me, even though I know it's not right. Because the first half is. You know, it's a, like what five or six, on the three, and then yeah, so it's. It's a tricky rhythm. So let's try this here. Let's try that. So now we really got those rhythms established. Let's go on a little further. that part goes it's pretty easy you've been getting it right this whole time what's that you've been getting it right this whole time oh that second half i have been yeah everything's right except for just the threes at the beginning refresh the first part again <laughs> well you almost have this it's just um you gotta go to a three and a four there not a three and a five yeah. so a three and a four on the next yeah the next We need to go back to doing this thing.
You feel that rhythm there? Yeah. Okay. You want to try playing this with the music? Yeah. I may have to slow the speed down a little bit, but... Sure. We could start at uh, 0.75. We'll be fine. Yeah, I'll switch that. Can you hear that okay? Yeah. Okay. Cool. slow is screwing me up so maybe I'll try it at full speed <laughs> but we'll see secret little part <laughs> oh okay when you're done playing this four times you're gonna yeah. have to play the intro well the intro of the second half again and then play it again well quick though So why is the pick going faster there? I'm not sure. <laughs> hmm. No, that's not it. There we go. That second part's only four. Yeah. So, are you trying to read this, or are you trying to remember how it sounds? No, no, no. I'm definitely just remembering how it sounds, but not properly. Can you sing this? Can you hum this like 
Hum it. Ah, it's every time. I just want to play that part so fast, but I'm not supposed can to. You, can you hum this, though? What's that? Can you hum it? Because that wasn't yeah. the correct hum. No. <laughs> um... Yeah, so that's right. We're gonna close the tab here. That's fine. <laughs> I it's too easy. Like it's just the one note, next note. That note, next note, that note, next note. It's not really anything crazy there. The only thing that you're really struggling with is the rhythm of the first note. Yeah. That's it. Can you hum it again? Da -na 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 -na. Da -na 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 -na. Oh wait. Da 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 da. Da na 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 na. Da na 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 na. Ah, jeez. If you don't really yeah, know, it, if you don't really know it by hum, you might want to listen to it a few times with the with the music and try to hum it with the music. Think you could hum it now? Maybe. <laughs> uh, which part? Mm, all three of them. Okay. Well, I don't think I can hum the third part because I didn't realize. I don't think I knew that was part of it. Um. No, that's still not right, is it? Uh, listen to it again. Let's focus on that part. Can you hum that? Uh, which part? You know the 
not the intro. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you drum it with your hands? Yeah. That was close, let's keep going, keep going. Mm, we're missing a beat in there. Yeah, I know, it's in the last part. The very the last second part. second bar there, yeah. You got it right before, though. So that was pretty good on the drumming part. Um, do you want to try it one more time with the drums and then, then we can try it with the guitar again? Sure. So unfortunately, both of those are wrong. <laughs> yeah, okay. That makes sense. Uh, let's try it again. Sounds right. Okay, let's try with the guitar now. So yeah, so you see why I put so much emphasis on drumming and rhythm, because when yeah. you know it, when you can drum it, you're going to be able to play it on your guitar. If you can't drum it, it's going to be really hard to play it on the guitar. <laughs> yep. So let's try it again with the music. Let's see if we can do that. Ooh, okay. And what's the... So I play the, the first part... Four times. Is it... Four times, and then the second part four times. Four times. And then you're going to have that little interlude. Yeah. So at the end of the fourth time, it goes... And then... Yeah, sort of, yeah. It's going to be just, just like... It's just kind of like you're trying to play the second part... But you're going to hiccup and like make a mistake and restart it from the beginning, kind of. Okay. It's going to be a three and a five, right? Let's try that. I'm going to continue it, though. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Sounds good. Well, we'll see when I get to it. 
Um, no one's gotten that so far. <laughs> What's that? No one's gotten that so far, but not very many students have gotten to this song quite quite yet. I mean, they've gone past this song, but it's just I, I put this song recently in here, so I've only had a few students try it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Let's see if we can get it. rhythm with the track here that was actually pretty good the metronome is throwing me off i'm getting way ahead of it and then i'm just getting let me turn up the track a little bit okay i'm probably playing louder than the track <laughs> Extra one in there. You keep going. Yeah. Let me just. Still just throwing in that extra one. For you? Yeah. When you hear it, it makes more sense. Try to play it a bunch. make your picking a little bit more conviction because if uh if it's not like right now the pick is the pick is kind of like kind of really at the top part of the string so it's kind of passing over the string really easily i want it to uh, be okay. a tough pick <laughs> That was good. Now, if you want, if you're feeling resistance on the string, you need to twist the pick a little bit, so that okay. the it's it's angled a bit. So if it's perpend, if it's exactly parallel with the strings, you're gonna have a little bit of an issue getting across the strings because your pick is gonna catch on the string. Yeah. So you want to twist it just a little bit downward. Okay. Forty-five degree angle or so. Let's try this again. Now 
I just can't play it that fast. Yeah, I'd suggest we slow this down a little bit. 0.85 maybe? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, custom. You gotta be able to play anything at any rhythm. Yep. That's been a problem for me. That one was much better, man. No. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Oh, it was much better? I thought yeah. you said it wasn't much better. That was that was much <laughs> was, better. Oh, okay. I was like, yeah, well. You know. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. So you got even you, you even got that little interlude part, which is great. Yeah. Um, I'd say I was around like a maybe a almost a seven or so there. Maybe maybe like a six, six point five, seven in that general region. So let's try let's try it again maybe. We can see if we can if we can get that down. Yeah. Same speed? Yeah. the same though um yeah 6.5 you almost got yeah. that if you just kind of not did those little mistakes there and you know you would have got that seven just takes consistency to get you know good scores and stuff you start making mistakes here and there yeah the, the points stuck it's, it's kind of like you know um just like when i do these recordings it's got to be i gotta do it again if it's not right <laughs> you know what i mean yeah yeah i hear you <laughs> I try to release nines at least. Um, okay. 
So, we'll go ahead and give you some points there, though, because, um, you know, that's great. I mean, you just need a little bit more practice to sort of make it consistent, because now you got the beats, you got the rhythms, you got the little intro, you got everything. You just need to make it consistent, and then, yeah. uh, and then we can get the seven. Maybe even an eight, if it's, if it's, if it's good enough, you know. <laughs> if it's really perfect all the way through, I'm going to give him that eight. Um, let's see. Do you want to try doing the Birds of Fire thing here as well? Do you already kind of check that out? Uh, I didn't look at that one at all. I, I actually kind of know Kotopakshi a little bit, so I listened to that. I went to that one first. Right on, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, I, but I've never heard of this song before, so I didn't even touch it. But <laughs> All right. Well, it's actually pretty easy. It's just a little bend exercise. So uh, okay. we could probably try like maybe the first line or so. I don't know if we got plenty of time here, 15 minutes or so. I actually went to, um, I've sort of increased the time of lessons. So instead of 60 minutes, they're now 75 or 45, depending on whether it's an hour and a half, an hour or so. You've got 75 okay, right minutes, on. if that's good with you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, some days I may have to bail early, but for the most part, that should be okay. Cool. Um, so, the bend up here on the 15. Mm -hmm. It's important to have a good chair. God, I suck. Yeah, let's, let's get a good, good tone on this. <laughs> yeah, we got a good tone, it sounds better. So, where are we? Beautiful, let's do a crunch. It's kind of difficult. You want to let it tune again? Oh. Uh, did you kind of hear that? God, it's so messy. It's just hard to get this clean, you know? <laughs> yeah. But anyway, 15 bend, and you hit the 12 right there. What, do you have distortion? Oh, you probably hear it. I don't. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. But do you have distortion on? Uh, I can turn one on here that has some distortion. Yeah, there we go. Get that bend up. And then we're going to play a 12, 15, and a 12. use your thumb. Your right hand picking thumb has to be touching the third string. That's tricky. A little bit. I'm gonna hit the 12 with the... Or anything like that. Once but we're that, done with that, we're going to do the same yeah. type of bend on the first string, but it's uh, up and down. You could do a pick there, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. And the same three notes. Awesome. So you get the same. Then we go back to the first part. So. One, two, three. 
You might want to do this with your ring finger. Now, how many fingers are you using to bend? Um, well, I guess if I'm doing the ring, I guess I was just using two fingers. Two fingers, okay, that's good. Okay. Now again, when you're playing these notes, we're just gonna get rid of the pinky. Okay. On that first string, are you still using two fingers to bend? Up and down, right? There we go. Now, on the first, on all of these, we want to make sure your index finger is kind of chilling right here. Not necessarily on the string, but kind of above it. So. On the first string, we can even leave it there as part of so now we have three fingers bending, as you can see here. See that, right? So right there and then, like, you can see your index finger's like here with the string bending. Up there. Yeah. But you want it here. Like, not squeezing, but just like here. So that way... fast. Otherwise, how are you going to bring it down there fast enough? Yeah. Make sure to bend with two fingers, though. And then on the first string, with three fingers, right? The index three finger. fingers with the first string? On the second finger, on the second string, you're gonna bend with two because your index finger is oh, kind okay. of chilling there. But on the first one, like your finger's already there, you might as well squeeze. Oh, I see. There we go. Oh my God, so many alarms going on. Whoops. <laughs> it's just telling me that the next lesson's in 30 minutes. That first string is gonna be up and down, right? Yeah. Okay, so you almost you almost got this. Yeah. And do a third one, right? So part one, part two, back to part one. And then part four is going to be this little thing here. Be an easy little bend there. You've heard that a million times. So that's the fourteenth fret there. It's on the it's on the third string. Fourteenth. Should actually be in half a bend, not a full bend. Try not to bend it too high there. I know it says full, but it's really just a half. That sounds way better, right? Okay, so let's put all that stuff together. One, two, okay. three, four. Forget part four. <laughs> See how it goes part one, part two, part one, part three. Part A, B, A, B, A, C.
Third string. Oh. Nice. The only th nice. The only thing there was that the first string got to bend up and down. Yeah. Good. So that thing was pretty good. You want to try it again? What's the best way to pick that part? Well, uh, this isn't a picking exercise, so okay, <laughs> just, just pick this as any way you want. Technically, you should be using like pull-offs and stuff, but it's just a bending exercise. I'd suggest outside picking mostly. Yeah, see, I, I don't even do a pick there, I just do a pull off. And then two down, well, down and up. A pull off, right? And then a down and up. You don't really, you don't really want to be doing an up and a down there. No. A down and an up. Yeah, sort of. But you would want to be doing a pull off. Oh, where's the pull off? After the bend. Yeah, so since you're used to picking that way, you know, you just pick that way, and later on we'll yeah. do some picking exercises. Try the second half? Yeah, what's the second half? Second half is gonna be on the fourth string. Okay. It's a little bit more difficult. But we can start with the first five notes, which is like this. Easy, and then just do another 12-14. Let's make sure the rhythm's right. Okay. <clears throat> now what we want to do is do a quick double bend on the first note. You're going to double bend downwards. Kind of be careful of, and hear hear how that sounds. So you always want to return back to your original.
our second okay. half is going to be 14 12 14 12 like and then we're gonna end on this 12 1412 to finish that off. Oh. Perfect. The rhythm is again going to be the same thing. I'm supposed to be a lefty guitar player. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Those days are gone. I've been oh, playing, yeah. I've been playing ready for at least a year now. So. Oh really? Yeah, I just kind of had to switch around how I did things, and uh, it felt a little weird. So I'm, my technique isn't quite per precise. It should be. Excuses, excuses. <laughs> yeah, we all have them. So So let's try to do the whole second part from here. Okay. It's really just those vibratos are tough for me, those bends and vibratos, because my hand just doesn't yeah. pivot as well as the other hand. God, it sounds like crap. <laughs> That's all right, man. <laughs> hmm. It's on the fourth string. You're right, it was. Uh, oh yeah. Let's get, let's try it a few times. Yeah, let's try to combine the whole thing together. Okay. You're doing okay. Just want that second part. <laughs> Alright, you wanna kinda of be careful in those double bends because you don't really want to bend it. We just wanna like vibrato it, which means we're keeping the same pitch. But we're just kind of getting off of it, coming back to it, just like that. So what's happening here is 
you're not returning back to the original, so it sounds like you're kind of scooting upwards a little bit. <laughs> okay. Something like that? Yeah. So, not this. That's a little too high. We won. It's almost the same. You hear that? Versus. I don't know. It's too, it's yeah. Bend it less, but bend it faster, and bend it back to the original. Gotta practice it, you know. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't do a ton of bending, so this is good practice for me, anyway. <laughs> yeah. the second half one more time okay <clears throat> so. how many fingers should i try to bend that with should three. i use all three? three all three okay Just come back up. Yeah. Like a zigzag. <laughs> That's a little there we weird. go. Yeah. All right, so um, I'll go ahead and just kind of let you practice uh, this thing, like without you know the track or anything. If, you know, this week uh, a couple times, you could try playing with the music and you know trying to yeah, work I'll listen to the track a few times. Yeah, see if you can get that, see if you can get the Codapaxi a little bit better, and that'll be perfect. Okay, uh, And then, cool. you know, just a little bit more riff-making practice. I'd suggest to keep, you know, like, even if you don't think you're doing the exercise right, just try to try to do it, because uh, when you sort of blanked at the beginning, like, you didn't know what to do, you know, we shouldn't have that problem. Like, you're a guitar player, you're supposed to make riffs. <laughs> yeah, so I know. So even, even if I... there's just, you know, little short riffs, even, like, just... With triads, whatever. Let's just try plus one. Pretty simple. It doesn't have to follow the directions or the rules that I give you. It doesn't matter. You know, just try okay. to try to get confident with just making riffs, and later I'll help you improve the riffs that you create by doing these little exercises. Okay, sounds good. Because any time that you play music at all, you gotta make riffs. It's just there's just no. It's like, you know, if you're gonna play music, you you either have to make chord progressions. Or riffs, right. or or you're just gonna solo and noodle around, which just doesn't really sound all that good. Right. <laughs> all right, man. So that was pretty good stuff, dude. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll uh, practice this. Maybe I can make some recordings for you, and I'll shoot them over to you later sweet. in the week. We'll go ahead and do. Um, we'll go ahead and put like a, it's like a three or a four here, almost. Like you kind of got this, but we'll just leave yeah, it at three fair. for now. Sounds awesome. good. Okay, man. Great. All right, dude. I'll see you around then. That was great. Thanks. Have see you fun. next week. Cool. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>